It is uh, 5.41 in the morning. That's uh, 5 hours and 41 minutes into the day of Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. And I still haven't shaken... Uh, I've been up for about an hour. I still haven't shaken the ponderance, uh, the thoughts that I had when I woke up. Uh, because I've been feeling sore, so... I'm taking this as a slow day, but I said I had done a very successful YouTube stroll. And not only successful, but in terms of enjoyable. I like the stroll. Things are all set up. They're working the way I like them to work. I have the basic basic path. I've now got the graphic. I've got an, a rolling animated graphic that shows you the path. That's all working. The scooter is working. The new seat on the scooter is amazing. Uh, I've been able to up my speed on the scooter to uh, to 25 uh, kilometers an hour. So, yay for that. But at the same time, when a ponderance hits, when the thought hits within the dream, the feeling is one of strangeness. It's not one of of normality. And I get this is something that is typical for me. This is part of my reality, is the altered reality. The altered sights, the altered real, re realizations that uh, may, maybe other people don't see or don't understand. An awareness that others don't have, that I have. Uh, and the feeling that Understanding that I'm sort of push, pushing my limit, that I'm, I'm doing well. I'm doing it's not that I'm not doing well. It's just that am I living beyond my? I think I'm living beyond my limits. What I, what I should have been able to do, and that's kind of a good thing. But at the same time, as you're wondering, as you keep pushing the edge, uh, as you're out in that exploration, as you're wondering, well, what if I hadn't gone down this path? Where where else might I have been? And in many ways, dreams do give you the sort of the, the alternative question. They give you a chance. And as a, a dream for a couple of nights ago is still with me because it was a very bizarre dream, but one I, necess I hadn't necessarily expected. Couldn't necessarily understand the message because the dream never finished. It sort of ended abruptly uh, without any formal conclusion. However, when I went back and thought about it, I had done some stuff in the in, in, in the in the in the dream that I really hadn't done before, and that was bless myself. I made the, 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 there is a a form of prayer, a form of, a type of meditation. The uh, uh, the 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 uh, these sort of uh, gurus who do yoga will do the uh, you know they have the the hands like this and. If you notice the icon that I put up here when I talk about, talk about med meditation, that's Panayin, she, her, her hands are like this. Well, there, these are the similar poses. And so you can also do, uh, as well, the, the, this is the, the, the Christ symbol. And it's, it's at the same thing. And now the difference is that this here could be argued 666, but this is the Christ one. And the second one, the, the, that's also a, a sort of a smaller version of it, but it's still equivalently uh, 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 equivalent to towards these for, uh, sort of these gestures of meditation is three fingers together and forehead, right shoulder, left shoulder, and because unlike Catholics who are facing the cross, who are facing Christ, we put on Christ, we wear Christ, so we put on the right side is the sun. And the left side is the uh, Holy Spirit, and that's because we're putting on Christ. We're not facing Christ. We're putting on Christ. We are wearing Christ. Uh, this is this is said during baptism. And so in the in the um, in the dream, that's what I had been doing. I I had been putting on Christ, and that's something that was typically unusual, and it was a situation where. I thought this was a necessary thing, but uh, I don't necessarily know why I thought it was a necessary thing, because getting to the understanding of what I was doing there, where I was, 
uh, and what the situation was never ended up uh, unfolding. It was just a bizarre, very bizarre situation that I sort of had stumbled across. But this is this is this is this is, this is, this is for me my uh, part of my standard pro my sta my standard uh, life. That's this uh, we'll call my status quo. Anyways, I uh, will see you in a couple hours. Uh, Wednesday is going to be uh, pretty much a slow day. Time for me to catch up on some sleep. And uh, we'll see what ha what the day brings. here we are once again it is three hours and 52 minutes into the day of Thursday October 8th uh, 2020 and we are ending the vlog for Wednesday October 7 uh, a little early but sometimes this is our typical our typical mark it's usually between four and six it really depends on uh, uh, when I'm awake and sort of when I have time to uh, do the gaming and meditation. So this is going to start the next uh, gaming and meditation cycle. Yesterday was rather short. I was t wasn't feeling that well in terms of uh, my alertness. I'm still in a kind of a groggy state. But uh, at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, uh, I don't know what's to be expected in terms of, of how you're feeling. Because once again, I'm in one of these altered states again. And it typically had to do with the dream. This, once again, is the dream coming into my wake state and sort of just sort of staying there and lingering. Uh, and not really leaving. So... And there's not much you can do about it. Just that that's just the way it is. I'm just getting used to it, and so <laughs> uh, th that's my normal, I guess. This is uh, typically what things are and how they are, and got to get used to them. And well, I am kind of used to it. Just what happens is sort of uh, it's a bizarre feeling that something is going on, but you don't know exactly what it is, and and. and there's this, there's this uh, <clears throat> bizarre sense of awareness. Uh, it's like I'm hyper aware of everything. <sighs> that doesn't shouldn't necessarily be the case. I mean, uh, the YouTube stroll was amazing. The path has really filled itself out. I mean, it's, there is an enormous amount there. Uh, within the path, there's the sub path. I went, I went through the entire path, and then went out, went out and down the sub paths, and everything seemed to be fine. I don't necessarily see any, you know, I didn't think there was any 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 problems necessarily. But <clears throat> when I finished the path early, around two o'clock in the morning, and yeah, so it's just I've I've been sleeping for about two hours, and this is what I ta talked about with my dad that uh, I, even though I'm sleep sleeping heavier, I'm still within the four hour mark uh, for sleeping at a particular time. I'm not sleeping anything more than four hours, which means I'm always losing sleep. I'm always in the sort of sleep of sense of uh, sleep deprivation. Uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a bizarre feeling. It's not. It's it's it, 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 it's not a a, uh, a typical feel. Particularly, if, you know, it's a, the, when it's when it's when it's darker out. I know. This is, I <clears throat> sorry, I'm, I'm tripping over my words. I notice this more when it's dark out, and it's a bizarre. And I think part of it is why it hits me so hard in the fall is the time when it gets dark out 
is earlier. So you have more darkness during the winter than you do during the summer, but that begins in the fall. And this is where I have these sensations. I have when it starts getting dark out, when it's darker out in the evening. Oh. I feel like it's, you know, this sense of what we call hyper, is a hyper awareness. Now, exactly what I'm aware of, I don't necessarily know. I can't give, I can't necessarily put my finger on That's part of the problem, is that I really can't say what I'm more specifically aware of than anything else. It's just that, well, this is just sort of the way I feel. And this is sort of the sense of, you know, okay, well, this, this is what it's like vlogging 24-7. This is who I am. This is uh, what my life is. So, anyways, uh, I guess none of us have had an issue of, you know, if I'm worth it or not. So, it's still within the realm of uh, no refunds. This is what it is, and... <laughs>